Here we go on an absolutely beautiful Sunday afternoon and look what we've got. The new John Ruder Europe trailer pack. And uh, I've only had a little mooch at the refrigeration one, which I've currently got attached to the truck. That's the one we're going to be doing a little drive in uh, very shortly. But first, we're just going to go in and have a little look at the other trailers. Let's see if I can actually spot them because unfortunately uh, they're not actually in. Um, just one little slot. They're not in the John Ruder one. You see, this is the one for the... Uh, for the Ram 3500. Um, but yeah, the first one that we've got is the refrigeration trailer. And it is a Schmidt's Cargo Bull. And uh, I tell you what, I've, I've had a little play with it. I've had a little look around. And the customization options, I've got to say, I'm uh, I'm impressed. I absolutely love it. Um, in all honesty, I only wants the pack pretty much for this one. So it'll be a nice surprise on stream to see if any of the other trailer options... Um, give me that little bit extra bang for buck. But um, great modeling. As always with John Ruder, they look absolutely amazing. Just look at that. Wheels look great. Right, so let's check it out. So we'll see that we've just got a single chain. Can't do any doubles triples anything like that uh the actual body itself it's just one size and we look at the axles and again just a free axle configuration on the cargo bull uh paint jobs absolutely all sorts as normal with the uh with the john ruder stuff he's, he's put a lot together here i think i want to keep it simple i'll just have a schmidt's cargo bull livery eh? But yeah, there's 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 a good good few selections on here to mess around with. Uh, there is a template included with this trailer and with all the others. So if you want to do your own paint jobs, if you've got a VTC um, or you're part of one and you want to make one for it, so you can use it. Um, yeah, the options there as well. We have put together, or sorry, I've just put together a really really quick one just with our uh, our new trailer design. Um, link as well is in the bottom if anyone is interested in joining a VTC. No pressure on you. It doesn't matter how active or inactive you are. Um, but anyway, it's not about plugging the VTC on this on this uh, video. But yeah, absolutely loads. I tell you what, we'll just we'll just stick with this for the uh, for the video. Eh? Well, put a little customization demo with this anyway. But yeah, all sorts of things you can do with this. We have a look on the front of the refrigeration unit. Little ventilation hatches. Uh, we can also as well. I think there's two variants now. You can just about see the difference on this. It's actually these little little lights in the corners. I can't even remember which one I put on mine, to be honest. Um, variants as well. The actual body, if you want to put, do put a door on the side. Uh, we'll continue with this. Now, I don't actually know what this one has changed in variant color or variant white. I'm presuming... Maybe if you paint this, but I've just got it set to white on my uh, on one of my templates. Uh, it looks to be the same with the with this one as well. Maybe if we just change the paint job quickly to maybe one that is say a different color. There we go. That one's black, isn't it? So we'll do that one. Yeah, there we go. So you can have it white if you want it white, or matching the color of your trailer. A quite a handy little option there. Just go back to that. Go down the sides. Got some stickers or plates. Uh, more stickers. Ferroplast. Again, we go down the sides. We can have our reflective tape. One's the door. Also as well, this is pretty cool. If you want, you can start putting all little lights on the sides. Little markers. Back them on if you want. But yeah, absolutely cool. A uh, couple, couple of variants as well for the chassis. You can have a chrome, chrome with a uh, with another locker, or you can have it as paint with the locker or without. Head over here. All these different wheel configurations as well for the mud guards on the back. Typical. Uh, Cargo bull this 
with the very sort of aggressively angled uh, mug guards and also the uh, ones in between the wheels. Like they just look absolutely, I just can't believe how much of a good job he's done on this. It's absolutely amazing. Some reflective tape on the back if you so wish. Uh, ventilation hatches either left door, right door. Uh, and again, a couple of different configurations. If you want the, uh, do you know what? Which ones did I go with on mine again? I think I just went with a single. But yeah, little locations if you want to put stickers on here. If you want to put like which country you're from. All these stickers can get added. Speeds. <laughs> Famous death angles. It's just absolutely all sorts you can stick on this side. Love it. Uh, if you want the chrome rollers or you want the black uh, sort of hard uh, plastic padding, you can have them. If you want to put your own little logo on here as well, this is another option you've got. Uh, you can add some of these little logos instead if you wish. Um, Schmitz, stick that on there. Or... Oh, if you've got your own that you want to do again uh, there is a template included inside the open definitions uh, folder for this so uh, you can add that there uh, if we go further down we've got all our different again light options if you want to put some markers on the sides you can do that or you can change the back completely as well I think that's the one I've sort of gone with, but the painted version of this where you've got the uh, Delondia uh, lift at the back. So really, really nice. It's just absolutely amazing. Yeah, loads of stuff to mess around with. But yeah, overall, very, very nicely done. Get some reverse lights on the go under here, which you can't actually see at the moment because I've put this on the back. Let's see if we can change that and see them. Might have taken them off. Um, if you just go with a standard rear as well, you can put a mug guard. Uh, is it a mug guard? Yeah. All different styles. And again, there's another file in the definitions folder. So if you want to put your own company logo on there, put your own text on. Just a simple little edit in uh, whatever photo editor that you use. But honestly, I absolutely love the pack already, just, just because of this trailer. Right, so that's that one. Let's see if we can find another one. Oh, I think this one as well. Okay, so we've got a couple of different options with these. So this one is the Bro Huey? Bro Bros Bros you? Bros we? Absolutely terrible pronunciations. Look at that. <laughs> Absolutely tiny. Now, what thing he has said as well, if you've got the Spectrans uh mod, which is the uh, the Scania. Uh I think it's the rigid one. You can use these trailers with that, which is absolutely, again, just amazing. Uh, standard connectors. Let's see if we switch on to this one. Still standard connectors. Chassis. You can have two wheels, two wheels with the split. Mug guards, independently operated. We can have a single. I'll tell you what, that'd look funny, wouldn't it? Um... Again, there's a little template for that. Again, he's actually done quite a few paint jobs for this as well, more than what I was expecting. Keep it on the yellow one. And then I'll have a little look and see what we can do with this one. So a couple more slots of stickers. More again. Okay, different rears. Sticky plates on. Oh, look at that. You can actually do your own on this one. Okay, I like that. 
again, different lights. Oh, actually, sorry, not different lights, but a different uh, config here if you want these little sort of plates. More markers. And again, a little more guard in the back. Oh, that's nice as well. Some sort of little uh, little glow underneath. Okay, so variant one, variant two. Just got some reflective tape. And then underneath the chassis. I'm going to get some like toolboxes in or something. It's really nice. Let's just have a little look and see. Just curious as to whether or not. Let's see what we can do on, say, the free axle one. Yeah, just pretty much the same on this one. And if you want to add, to add a toolbox to it, you can do. I don't think there's going to be much difference to what you can do on the back here. All your plates again. More guards, and then your lights. But I don't think I'll probably use these ones a lot unless I am using the Spectrans. But still nice enough. Okay, the next one, the Par Caesar. Let's have a look at this. So this one's the Food Tanker. Let's have a little play with this one. So again, just a single trailer. Just the one body type. Three axles together. This one I probably will use because I like the ones that look more sort of conventional to what we see in the UK. I'll definitely use this one. Probably will do a paint job on this as well. I was looking for something then, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Got an idea. There ought to be something to do with all these, hasn't it? <clears throat> there you go, yeah. So we stop clicking on these. I should be able to paint. So if we do that for paint. Just notice as well, it looks like we can have a few more markers here as well. Uh, on the rear, sticker. I'll get rid of that. Okay. Oh, if you want to have it painted, you can have it painted. Little death angles. And then we've got chrome all painted again at the rear. Some red lights on the side. More slots for stickers. Come for your speeds. Tell you what, they look clean, don't they? And different light variants, plates, red light again if you want a little glow underneath, and of course, change the mudguard again. I'll tell you what, it's just the modeling. Like, I love how how good the wheels look. And look at this thing here, look at the little uh, pressure gauges. Amazing. Right, for the sides, I don't know what this is doing. Oh, this must be, uh, there we go. And what's this? Reflective tape on the side of them. Reflective tape on the bottom of the chassis. Chrome or painted sides. Uh, we can have a chrome or we can have a painted little fire extinguisher box. And it looks like we've got a lot more places to put 
We want some more markers on the side. Right, so what's this changing? Oh, okay, it's actually the uh, the light positions, chromed, painted, stock paint. And then if you want to paint the frame, paint the frame. But I like that. I think that's it as far as customization goes. Um, whether or not we can actually do... I think the whole thing. Pretty sure the scene that we can actually do paint the whole of the uh, the whole of the tank, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so if you want to keep it chrome, you can keep it chrome and just have a name down the side. So that's uh, that's quite nice, that actually. But of course, we can get it all painted up. Do you know what? I probably myself personally I'd probably keep that chromed. think so oh yeah more than happy with that one I'll definitely be doing a few jobs with that right let's move on to the next one I felt he wasn't the one I think they're just the normal short smaller ones don't think any of them are his uh, the cargo bull. Ah, Vogelzang. That's a new one. That'd be the new curtain scyther. So I think this one's the last one. Unless there's any more he's stuck in the uh, the spectrans, which he hasn't. The Vogelzang. Let's have a look at this one. Again, modeling and detail on it, texturing. Looks nice and clean. Right, so again. Chain type is a single, one body, and the axles, which I'm absolutely made up to see, because I was a little bit worried seeing four axles. I want to do a free axle configuration, but you can have a free axle configuration, so happy days. Uh, again, there's a template in here if you want to do your own skins. It's a bit too bright for me, that. That's a bit too dull. I'll tell you what, we'll do P&O. Well, we're having a little look around here. Right, let's have a little look at the things as well. So we have a look from the front. So again, a little plate accessories there. And what's this? Is this the underside? Yep, so the frame you can either have black or you can have it the colour of the paint job. Uh, variant 1. Okay, so there's our reflective tape. Again, same thing with the lights. You can either have a stock configuration. Or you can make your own. So again, just using markers either along the front and back and across the sides. Here we have a look underneath. A couple of variants for the boxes. Quite nice, that one. And then, same thing for the mud guards. I'll have them black, painted, or paint with a little white stripe on that little pinstripe. Uh, that's a nice little touch as well, those little lights. So either a choice of six or four. Again, stickers for your speeds. Options for your plates. Again, more stickers. Death angles. Collective plates.
Then again, chrome paint is all white. That. I always seem to prefer that one out of all the choices for the uh, for the real light configuration. Uh, if you want to get the logo on there, you can do. And that was that one I've just clicked, wasn't it? Again, light underneath, and you can also change the rear flap. Uh, looks like we changed the rear of this as well. Different size boxes. Uh, I'll probably go with that one because it fits just, just the way it's it's positioned in there. It looks nice. And one thing that I've neglected to show as well is we have got a load of custom wheels and also accessories for the wheels. You see we've got all these Alcoa polished rims. Oh yeah. Pretty nice. Don't think any of them are additional. Uh, the hub as well. The uh, the Abbas BPW disc brake hub. Okay. Now I don't know whether some of these ones included or that I've got from another mod. Um, but I know some things that have come on here anyway. If you have a look at all of these. Um, a bass logos. Uh, sorry, look at all these nuts. Um, but the one I was really interested in, and it stops me tends to stop me using the John Ruder trailers in ATS because we haven't got um, the nut locks, and we have actually got these now. The uh, lug nut indicators either with the face them on another they're in. Indicator out, uh, and we've also got the lock duos, and we've got the full ring. This is a nice little addition, so I tend to use these ones and just to match me, uh, me truck. They're the ones that I'll be going for. But yeah, I think the trailers look absolutely stunning, like visually, the modelling on them uh, is what you come to expect from Ruda. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, but I've popped the link down below. If anyone does want to go and check them out on the website, uh, just click that link. It'll take you straight to the page for the European pack. Uh, it's priced at $25, so I think it's uh, well worth the money. 100%. But yeah, that's that. So I'm going to jump into the, into the cab now. We'll do a little drive. I'm not going to do a massive job because I wasn't planning to uh, to be streaming this today. I was having a little bit of a break. Um, but yeah, if you're watching live now, thank you very much for being here. And if you're watching this back, uh, give me one minute. We'll uh, pick a job and we'll be on our way somewhere nice. I think you can tell where it took the screenshot. <laughs> anyway, this is the one that we've got. So, as I say, just took a really quick uh, sort of skin on it. And uh, let's, let's get on our way. Go and pick up our loads.
on Rogan, how are you doing, fella? A lovely little road, this. Nice mate. Don't know why I haven't even watched any of that this weekend, but Wait, yeah, that's booming. I think the end, you know what? I think the sound pack I've got in this is one of the, the Z mods ones. I think it might be the uh, the Z mods Scania 14. Guy's going the same way as me, isn't he? Uh, I do, mate, yes. I don't actually have any installed at the moment, but I've got... I think I've got two. One of them's a lease. I've not actually used any for that. Any time I've used mine are on uh, flight sim, you know. Uh, 
Uh, no, there was... There was a, a program that I was using at one point for flight sim, which allowed you to use the voice packs. Uh, but I've never used one for Star Citizen. That's all good, mate. Right, we're nearly there. Made a nice first drive to take this trailer um, out on. Yeah, exactly, man. I think this is the place. Go on, mate. I'm coming to an end now anyway, you know. Yeah, just going to pull in here, and that is me done. Yep, Tuesday, mates, I will be on uh, Oklahoma. From about, I've put it in my schedule. I'll have a little look. I think it might be six thirty. Possibly six or six thirty. But yeah, um. Let's just go back to that. So, 
There we go. Anyway, there's the new Europe trailer pack by John Ruse. Um, I don't know why I've just started my engine up again. That's the button I meant to hit. But yeah, trailers are exceptionally well modelled, as you come to expect from John Ruder. Um I love the I love the cargo bull. Absolutely made up. That's been included with it. Um so yeah, a couple of trailers to grab. If you do want to check it out, just click the link down below and that'll take you through to the John Ruder uh, website and particularly to the to the new trailer pack. Um exceptionally well done. I can't wait to uh, to jump in and uh, take some of the others for a little bit of a ride. Um as Rogan's just prompted me as well, uh, I have got a stream going on Tuesday, um, which is going to be for the release uh, of the Oklahoma DLC for American Truck Simulator. Now, if anyone is interested and you don't want to buy it straight away, feel free to uh, check out the Hub Discord. Again, link is at the bottom uh, in the description there. Uh, I've got a giveaway, which I will be drawing one lucky winner out of to receive a free copy of the uh, of the Oklahoma DLC, uh, so just yeah, go through to the uh, click the link, go through to the discords, go into the giveaways channel, and there's uh, simply a nice little button for you to click, and that will register you and enter you into the giveaway. So if you want to have a chance of winning, do that. Uh, and as I say, stream will be going on on Tuesday, and at eight thirty UK time uh, on stream, uh, I'll be declaring. A, a lucky winner so yeah check it out check it out anyway so that's it from this stream thank you very much for, for anyone who's been watching it while i've been streaming and if you've come this way uh via the uh, the vods again and you've made it this far uh thanks for watching uh, please do click that thumbs up if you've liked the video uh and don't forget to hit that subscribe button more videos coming on ets uh and of course as i say we've got that ets stream on tuesday so that's it from me thank you very much i will catch you all later enjoy the rest of the weekend